I am going to go over how you can build D-Look to do massive DPS and damage even if you are a beginner or advanced so he can be your ultimate main DPS in Genshin Impact coming right up. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Aiden. I'm gonna pick a random subscriber that liked and commented on this video here. Congrats, you just won $10. Before I continue, I would like to say thanks to all of you who came to my live stream. I'll be going live more often to answer all of your questions. If you are new to the channel, my name is Aiden and I make Genshin Impact guides to help you build your characters at maximum potential without spending money or little money as possible. I had the privilege to play with Diluc since day one. Genshin Gods have provided me with Diluc as my first 5 star and I have been playing him ever since until my Razor took over. I am not saying Diluc isn't good, he is actually so broken, one of the top DPS characters in Genshin Impact and I'll be discussing Diluc's build in terms of artifacts, weapons, team comps, talent to do more damage and DPS for you. Diluc's normal attacks do 4 consecutive hits and because Diluc uses Claymore, his normal attacks are going to do high damage. Diluc E skill ability called Searing Onslaught turns his attacks to do pyro damage making the skill very unique and easy to combo with. Mixing autos and E together makes it very fun to use making d look one of a kind in Genshin Impact. d looks Q ability called Dawn does massive bursty pyro damage consecutive pyro DPS afterwards on all enemies in the direction. This ability is so good because it uses 40 energy with low cooldown making this ability spammable. You can expect this ability to be back up just in time when the cooldown is over. Let's take a closer look into best team composition for d -Luck. I'm gonna go straight into the best reaction in this one. Melt is by far the best elemental reaction for d because of the double Damage. Not only that, even if Cryo is proccing Melt, it's still gonna do 50% more damage, making this combo deadly, especially for Ganyu as she's going to have Q up for such a long time and it seems like she's gonna be a main DPS as well. She's coming out very soon and I can't wait to showcase her next week. Other than that, I feel like Chong Yun is going to be Dilik's best friend. The reason why I say this is that Chong Yun's E ability turns auto attacks to do Cryo damage, making Dilik do Cryo damage and Pyro damage doing Melt combo all the time because deluxe combos consist of auto attacks e auto attack e auto attack e you will be doing cryo pyro cryo pyro and so forth doing massive melt combinations any cryo characters are going to fit well with deluxe but we generally are looking for bursts and e ability that's going to stay in the battlefield in a long duration it seems like ganyu is going to be capable of doing just that if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the sub button and notification as I will have many Genshin Impact videos just like this so you don't miss the future upcoming video. Vaporized reactions are going to increase 50% of your damage and for this reason it's going to work well with d -Luk. Also, d -Luk can partially play a role where he can apply pyro effect to the enemies so your hydro characters can do double damage when applying vaporize. Mona might be the best fit with d -Luk because Mona's Q increases d -Luk's damage and d -Luk also increases Mona's damage from Vaporize. d -Luk can also offer Child to apply Vaporize reactions so Child can do double damage with his Q. Since d -Luk's E does Pyro damage and it's really easy and fast to use Pyro onto enemies, d -Luk can also help support characters if you use mechanics properly. Zinq's Q is also good with d -Luk because it's going to stay with d -Luk and d -Luk does consistent Pyro damage, enhancing damage for both characters. Overload reactions are good against shielded monsters and the extra damage from overload is not as nice as other reactions but it still adds damage. I personally don't like overload reactions using it on small mobs because they bounce back but against big mobs overload reactions are so good that you really kill them much faster. It's these shielded mobs that get in the way of using overload reactions are the fastest way to demolish them. Fischl is going to be OP with overload reactions as Fischl's bird stays in the radius and d can do damage with it. Beidou is another good support as Beidou's Q stays with d and d can just apply overload reactions consistently not worrying about bird not being in the radius. For the best artifact set for d it's going to be Crimson Witch of Flames. This set is the only set that you should be aiming for with d no exception because with the 2-piece you're getting pyro damage bonus of 15% and the 4-piece set increases overload and burning damage by 40%, it increases vaporize and melt damage by 15% and elemental skill increases every 50% every time you use elemental skill and it stacks up to 3 stacks which means d is going to be getting 
additional pyro damage bonus every time he uses his E and he can continuously use his E skill ability making this set the best set for Diluc and a must get for Diluc so at max 3 stacks Diluc is going to get potentially over 30% extra pyro damage for the feather, I have attack, energy recharge, crit rate, elemental mastery, and attack percent. For the flower, I have HP, attack percent, crit damage, energy recharge, and attack. For the hourglass, I had attack percent, energy recharge, crit damage, and elemental mastery. For the cup, I have pyro damage bonus with a crit rate, elemental mastery, attack. And for the helm, crit damage helm with attack on it the thing about crimson witch of flame set it's so good on d look that you don't really have to worry about really good substats if you look at my substats they're not that good really low crit damage rolls absolutely no hit on the crit damage here but it still does a lot of damage if you get really insane rolls on these artifacts your d look will be doing so much damage and for the attributes in this video, my Diluc had crit rate of 37%, crit damage at 186%, pyro damage bonus at 73%. The crit damage is going to change whether I use Wolf's Greystone or Black Cliff. Right now, I have Black Cliff equipped. That's why it has high crit damage here. For Diluc's constellation, I got really lucky with the first constellation. This account, I was able to pull two Diluc in 30 rolls, which I got so lucky on. And the first constellation makes you so that you deal 15% more damage against opponents whose HP is above 50%. The second one is when he's going to get increased attack speed. The fourth one is going to increase attack damage for his E and the sixth one is going to increase damage for his normal attack and it's not gonna interrupt normal attack combination anymore and it's going to increase attack speed even more making Diluc do massive DPS. For the talents in this video, I have normal attack at level 6, Searing Onslaught the E skill ability at level 7, Dawn the Q ability at level 6. And for the best weapon for Diluc, it's going to be Wolf's Greystone because this is gonna attack the damage on Diluc the most. Like thing about this weapon is Wolf's Gravestone so it seems like this is the best weapon for Razor as well. I would say this weapon is just the best Claymore out right now because it's gonna have crit damage and Diluc is going to be killing a lot of enemies and it's gonna get an increased attack which means Diluc is gonna be doing more damage since Diluc comes with increased crit rate. Having crit damage is going to be a good way to go. I would say Black Cliff is way better than Battle Pass weapon. If you do go for Protap Archaic, this is free to play and you can refine this for free. And uh, it's going to go up over 400% additional attack damage. And with Diluc, you're looking to do normal attack and E attack. So you, you're going to do combinations of the two. And you're going to get this burst additional attack while you're doing the combo making this weapon really good with Diluc as well but if you're really looking to refine black cliff then i would say black cliff is going to be the best four star for Diluc. but because it costs money i don't recommend you guys to do this and really just stick with prototype archaic for Diluc for free to play and obviously if you have five star weapon like skyward pride then you should stick with skyward pride because it's gonna have energy recharge and high attack on it and my diluc is only at level 80 and this was adventure rank 54 world level 7 in case you missed my latest video it should pop up here make sure to come check me out in live stream and i'll be answering all of your questions particularly in your individual needs i'll see you guys in the next video peace out